welcome to the third video on our dot classification series okay so um now we have a question and it's a question i think from past questions okay the last past question yeah for the last set good uh we're going to analyze this question and be able to draw a tenary diagram and also cross our x on it and also name it so i'm going to do two things with the plot tenary diagram and so what draw and so name it good so the first step i think that there are two things that you need to know take note of the first is the what is the metric percentage and also the grains okay so looking at this question say that what a classic sedimentary rock that is moderately sorted with some six percent fine to medium sand grain 90 percent matrix and estimated what five percent chloride cement so you know i told you before that in the last video that first off so you're going to start solution so you're going to them okay different particles and their percentage okay so majorly you know i mentioned in the last video that any sand sample any rock um you have the any rock you have the grains you have the matrix and you have the cement okay so yeah it's mentioned that we have 70 percent fine to medium sand grain so the grains the grains is 76 percent okay now the next one the matrix you say the matrix is what 19 percent just to just give you a text brief so what do you think from here you should to know the parent name the matrix is 19 percent so what do you think the parent name will be yeah it's greater than 15 percent so that is what it's a wacky stone a gray wacky so without thinking too much you cannot just miss it naming rocks okay and the estimated cement which is five percent so the cement is what five percent so the total of everything here is what hundred so just make sure that anytime i add in all of this hundred okay but this is not what we need now let's continue reading okay so the next thing we are going to draw will be on the classification of the what of the grains the grains component so the first part of the grains say we're going to draw a table the grains and their percentage so grains and their percentage grains and uh, percentage okay so this is 17 percent of the grains of the grains are what feldspar then bring the question closer 17 percent of the grains are feldspar so you say feldspar 17 percent uh next we're told that nine percent of the grains are what volcanic rock fragments even though they put volcanic there we know that what they're saying is what? rock fragments right rock fragments rock fragments is nine percent then we're not told that what the remaining grains are what quartz minerals the remaining grains they didn't mention it so we know that a percentage everything must be what android right so we can get for can solve for quite simple so since all the grains must be 100 percent minus what rf percent plus what fed power percent okay so court court is 100 minus what 17 plus 9 what's 17 plus 9 so this is 100 minus what 26 uh, 100 minus 26 is what okay so we have 100 minus 26 74 percent 74 percent so our cut is what 74 percent good can you see that yeah so now we know that uh, the next thing is now to plot this on our what? On our tenary diagram. So the tenary diagram 
when you are plotting, it should look like this. It must have three triangles. Like the tenor diagram you are going to draw will be just for one of the, depending on the parent's name. If here is arenite, if it's arenite that's the parent's name, which is less than what, 15%, you plot here. If it is Wakistone, you plot here. Okay? So here is um, greater than what, 15%. So here is 15 to 75%. And here is greater than what? 75% for Mudstone. Okay? Good. So just put all of this there. So depending on this, so now for this question, we know that the metric is 90%, which is the second one, which is the Wake. Yes for Arenite, yes for the Wake. So just plot on this. So I'm going to just plot the triangle, just a triangle here. But remember in the exam, you should draw these three and plot on these three, but you're going to choose the triangle you're plotting depending on the parent's name you've gotten. So you write in your book, you say that what? So the name, first name is, um, so you, since the matrix, since matrix, matrix is 19%, it is a wake, or you say gray wake, anyone? Okay, good. Now, just to refresh your memory to see how we do it. So I say that I like drawing isosceles triangle. So making sure here and here are the same thing. So I'm using five centimeter. Don't know why. That is in five. So it's very, very easy for me to divide it to 10. Okay. So let me split it to 10. Okay, 10%. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, you come here also, do that same thing. Then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good. And you come here, it's 5.5, .5, so. Yes, it's not easy for this third part, but there's a way you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we divide into 10 already. So, I said earlier, always make sure that, so that it's very easy for you to just approach it. So, this I drew my own. Okay, very, very easy to approach. So, I've divided the year to 10 into 10 portion and into 10 portion. Okay? So I'll go to, I'm doing the this exercise part into what? Increasing court. I'm going to do it in increasing court. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yes, 100. Q. F, R, F. So yes, so I'm going to do it in order of increasing court. 30, okay? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You get to 10, 20. So yes, you can choose either increasing feldspar or what? Increasing rough fragments. Anyone? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Good. Okay. So remember what I said first in the first video? Say that was join the word. So in our using we have cut 74. You know that this is 70. This is increasing cut, have you? So 74 should be around here. So just join. Let's join this point. Almost the middle. 74 is almost the middle between 70 and 80. Just join them together. Because here's increasing cut. Here's also increasing cut. So we're going to join them together. Good. Now the next one is what? Rock fragment. So let's join increasing rock fragment. Which area have rock fragment? Yeah. So we can display increasing frog fragment by counting in this manner. So here is 90 because we are going like this for court. But for rock fragment, here will be 10. Okay? But this is 9. So less than this 10 at this point. Less than it. So and here too is increasing rock fragment. This is 10. So a bit lower than here, you have your 10. You have your so your 9%. So you join together. Good. Then after that. Your 17%. 17 is between 10 and 20, right? 
So here is increasing rock fragment. Here is what increasing first part. So instead of ninety, here yeah, you have like ten, twenty. So this is here ten, ten, twenty. Then seventeen is closer to twenty, right? And yes, so if he has increasing court, this way is what increasing what felt spa. So yes, then yes, twenty. So seventeen will be around the year, and seventeen will be around year. Okay. So can you see? Yeah. So in the question, you see in the and uh, this and say that so locate it with what with an X. So you can even see the X already forming. So that's the point. So in the tenary diagram, this way today. So what am I saying? In this stuff here, when you've drawn these three triangles together, so for work, you are going to plot this plot here. You're going to plot it here on it. Okay. So this is the um the X part. So you've noted the X there. So that's the location of the sandstone based on its composition on the tenary diagram. I said earlier, just reiterating again, just reiterating again. Depending on the parent name, this is for the iron knight, this wake, and around there is what the mud stone. Okay, so and that's depending on the matrix, the matrix less than 15, 15, 75, greater than 75. Good. Now, how do you get the sub name? Now, for wake, I'm going to focus. You have to remember this second one. Okay, if it's iron knight, you remember the first one, second one, mud stone. Don't worry. Everything is just named Monster. So the parent's name, sub name is still Monster. Okay, for Wake, what do you do? In our question, you say that what? Can you see? The only time you name something quote Wake in this, anytime you name something quote Wake is when it is what? Only between what? 95 to 100. But anything less than 95. Can you see our court? It's not 74, it's less than 95. So we know that it can never be caught Wake. So, but the, so it depends on what which one is higher, either the fed spa or the what court or the rock fragment area. So, the fed spa is higher than the rock fragment. So, the name of our sandstone using dust classification is what fed what fed spa fed spa tick wake. Fetspatic Wake. So this is the name. Good. This whole thing, 15 marks. Plotting this guy on this set of Aronite, Wake, Mudstone. Noting the parameter for the matrix there. And drawing your tables. Can you see? Everything did not take me too much. And just this, you are done. Okay? You've answered this long question. Just notice the right part. Okay, now we've come to the end of what? Our dot classification, naming the sandstone using dot classification word system. Thank you very much for listening. You can go back to the, um, to the beginning, start the video if you don't understand any part. Thank you.